back to Games Montreal Beer Reviews. What you're about to see is going to be quite different from what I usually post. Uh, it's going to be a collaboration review I did with Barry from Barry's Beer Reviews all the way down in New York City. That's where I went over the weekend. Um, if you could have told from the foreshadowing I did in my last review, I was going somewhere and did. Um, so yeah, we did the review of the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. Uh, interesting kind of spicy pumpkin beer. It's my second pumpkin beer I've ever tried and uh, so yeah this is just an introduction to you know what's happening because I didn't really um, end up filming a proper one myself back then um, had a great time in New York City uh, Port Short brought back some beers and uh, you'll see most of them in the next season season 4 is coming really soon so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah enjoy the video for now I'll let Barry do the talking Hi and welcome to a special episode of Barry's Beer Reviews I'm here with the one and only Dennis LD, who came down uh, to visit his cousin in Brooklyn, but also has I made sure he stopped by the Barry Beer Studio. Um, we have here the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale, which he only tried his first pumpkin ale ever when he reviewed the St. Amboy. So I thought I'd give him an American example of this style. Um, what's interesting about this beer is that not only is it 7%, which is a tiny bit high, higher than some of the other ones, but it's also based on a brown ale, so the, the color might be a tiny bit darker. And the bottle clearly says a full-bodied brown ale brewed with real pumpkin, brown sugar, all spice, cinnamon, and nutmeg, which are the basic spices that you normally get. Now, and, and the kind of ode or dedication to Beer Vlog, who reviewed his a recent pumpkin ale in a goblet, um, I'm going to use my home again goblet, and I'm going to use my uh, newly acquired, thanks to a very uh, pint glass, just a tumbler, uh, which is a gift from Brad. Um, now this beer is 7% ABV, which is, I think, in a high scale of pumpkin yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. Usually, usually, if they're imperial, they can be up to 9%, but they're usually around 5 or 6 so that's, uh, I'm going to crack mine open and then hand them over my trusty beer advocate open there. Ooh, a nice yeah. amount of smoke. Yeah, I want to try the beer out the open that's fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, so give it a pull. It's actually not as dark as I thought it would be. Nice. Now, it's actually my first time reviewing a beer in this kind of glass. You know, it might be funny for many people, but it's he probably used to his glasses, but my head actually. Oh, well, my head is a little thinned out because of the wide mouth of the glass, but you can see that it's a nice, like deep, like, like almost amber actually, like a, like a, between a copper and an amber color. Bit of orange as well. Orange, orange, yeah, and the head is like just a nice foamy white head. Um, Mine's a bit yellow, but it's yeah. off white, yes. Yeah. Some lightly bubbles, I think, yeah. um, pretty carbonated. Yeah, pretty carbonated. Let's go into the snow. Mm -hmm. A very, very strong pumpkin. Yeah. It's like pure, like perfect pumpkin. It's more uh, intense than the one I tried mm -hmm. before. Um, you know, you get a lot more pumpkin than actual spice. Yeah, for sure. I get some cinnamon. There's, there's definitely some cinnamon and, and nutmeg there too. Maybe a bit of cloves as well. Yeah. And a, definitely a good caramel background. Yeah, though. yeah, very big on the caramel actually. Let's go in for the sure. taste. Maybe a little bit more spice in the taste. Yeah, sure, it's different from what I tried. It's um, it's more potent, so you get a bit of a kick in the beginning, but it's very tasty. I think. And um, the carbonation makes that seven percent very drinkable. Too. Yeah, definitely uh, brings up the mouthfeel quite a bit. As it warms up, though, it'll get a little more. When the carbonation starts to leave the beer. It'll be a little bit more creamy, but. Um, well, now you get like uh, it's reminded me a little bit of the Southern Tier actually. It has like that same like like ginger snap or like brown mm -hmm. sugar or, like graham cracker taste to it. Um, yeah, this one can really um, It's a little less spicy than some of the other beers that the pumpkin beers that I that I have on my favorite list, but this is the one that is like very nicely balanced. 
You can still taste the ABV, but it doesn't affect the, the drinkability. So I think it's the carbonation is like definitely pricking my tongue, though. Yeah. And though the finish is it's rather sweet, but it's it's, it's balanced with mm -hmm. the the yeah, spice. Like a, 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 like a really nice spice kick at the end. It was like, like and then your tongue is like left leaves a little bit of spice at the bottom. Oh, there's a pumpkin roll. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go in and uh, drink a little more of this Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale, and uh, we'll okay, so we're back with the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. Um, this goblet glass is actually opening up the beer to a lot more flavors than I remember it being from just drinking in the, my Dogfish Head glass. Um, I get a lot more like r the allspice, like, there's like a very like earthy spiciness, like fresh spices. Um, so my my glass probably more head. I think it's still uh, staying around. Quite a bit. Yeah, mine totally left. But. but definitely you get that aromatic kind of spiciness from the um, allspice. It's not very like it's not like peppercorn, but it, it kind of prickles it down and mm. uh, very nice. As well as some sweetness, very mild but. That. The sweetness is definitely was more when it was colder, but now it's very like the spicy allspice taste, along with like some nutmeg, like more prominent. Um, you still get a lot of like very fresh tasting, like organic. I think these are organic pumpkin and it's like really fresh grown pumpkin. Yeah, predominantly it's pumpkin, um, which is what it's supposed to be. You don't get like the smutty nose pumpkin ale, you get a lot more cinnamon and a lot of more spicy pumpkin ale, you get a lot more cinnamon and clove. Um, but this is like one of the more drinkable pumpkin ales. Um, I definitely, this is a one I always have, buy at least a few four packs of this every year. Um, like I really loved it last year, so. Uh, Probably a good when it's getting a bit chilly outside and yeah. enjoying one of these. Probably better than like a 5% one. Mm -hmm. Well, this is my second beer from Dr. Shed and I'm loving it too. Very So, uh, what do you think you're going to rate this beer? I'm thinking an 8 because, um, good taste, interesting spiciness in it. Uh, probably not the most drinkable beer. I mean, it's a drinkable pumpkin beer, but probably you can find other styles more drinkable. But for this pickle style, it's appropriate. And, uh, very good for the season, I think. Mm. It's a very good beer. I mean, some of the, like, the spicier ones are, like, good to, like, drink on their own, but, like, really, like, these beers are, like, not only meant to drink on their own, but they're really, like, reminiscent of that, like, fall, like, oh. Thanksgiving, or, 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 like, fall, like, dinners, like, with, like, turkey and stuffing and all that. Um, so, like, but sometimes you don't want the spicier ones, they could overpower the food. Um, so for this one, uh, I was still, I was gonna give it a seven because it's not as spicy as I like, but now that I think of it, that like I drink a whole four pack this week on my own, and I really liked it. So I, and I could see myself drinking at least the whole like two or three of them in the one night. So. It definitely opens up with the and, and, and the since now that I got a lot more flavor with the goblet, I like it even more even than in the pie glass. So I'm gonna give the Dark Shed Pumpkin Al an eight out of ten also. Man. It's a very good beer. If you like pumpkin ales, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I'm really happy that I got to review this really awesome beer with uh, Dennis LZ. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to give him that sign off. <laughs> and if you're from Canada, happy Thanksgiving so much. <laughs> Alright. So, 8 out of 10 for both of us. Very good beer. If you haven't tried it, try it. If you haven't heard of it, find it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and like I like to say, uh, keep drinking craft beer. You never know what you'll find out there. Have a good day and... Oh.